Yo, what up, homies? It's Vigilor Tenny. Welcome to another video today. That probably sounded so quiet, but. Um. We've got an episode today. So, what we're doing is a couple of things. We're gonna build the next two floors of this house. Which will be the fourth and fifth floor. Which I've already have planned out what they're gonna be. And we're also gonna get some animals in here. So the fourth floor is an animal floor. Or a pet floor. Which is why my horse, Horso, is up here. And floor number five is gonna be an enchanting room. Not an enchanting room, a brewing room. I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to go with it. So right now we're just building up a ladder, a temporary ladder to get up to... this floor so I can easily transport the future pets we're gonna have because today we're going pet hunting I want to at least get a dog in this episode And I know I haven't just, I've just been concentrating on building this, so I haven't spoken a little bit yet, but. Trying to concentrate on this build. The best I can. But at least today we're getting one pet. And that pet will be a dog. If anything, I'm getting a dog this episode. Why am I crouching? Stop crouching. So in between this episode and last episode, I got a nether wart farm. I went back to the nether, got some nether warts, created a farm.
Okay, so now it's time to get started on the house. Today's houseworking. And right there is going to be a pool, so if I need the pets to get out, they just jump into the pool. So they don't get hurt, because I'm nice to my pets. So in this chest, we got enough wool and enough wood to work on today's episode. So, like I said, what we're doing is we are working on the next floor. The next two floors, actually. So hopefully this will be a longer episode. Since we got two floors to work on today. And then after we get done with the floors... We'll then get to work on finding a pet. And this is just getting even more laggier. Boom. Now let's get to work. I'll probably have to make more ladders, but I'm not worried about ladders right now. Oh, that I hate. But it's just right here. So it's not too hard to fix. No! Where's the windows? I know I have some of them somewhere. Okay. Might need to make more windows. So once I get done with this floor, I'll start on more windows while I build the second floor of this episode. Poor Horso is alone right now, but hopefully by the end of this episode, he'll have some friends. Let me just collect that little piece of wood back here. And that one's lost into the farm. Forever. Once I remove that dirt path, 
then I can really start putting pets in. Well, I can really start using the pet floor. But today, in this episode, we're getting even higher in the sky. Soon enough, it's going to get foggy underneath. Like, as you can see in the distance, it gets foggy. Soon enough, it's going to start looking like that all throughout the ground. Now, I had these crosshairs on. Or these split controls. But I'm going to turn them off right now. Because to me, it makes some building a lot easier. And others just not. Like, the building that it makes easier to me is like, say you're building a nerd pole. It makes it a lot easier if you turn on those controls, because then you don't have to like, just click and drag your screen over. You can just stand in one spot and infinitely build. Up. But building a house, those split controls aren't the best. So I need to find the middle of the room. And then I'll put the glowstone down. Okay, so it's five wide, so that's the middle, and that's the middle, so... One, two, three, four, five. It's always difficult. I have to sort through like 15, like four menus before finding the menu that has the crafting recipes that I'm looking for. Which is another thing I don't like about the new crafting in the Better Together update is that the menus aren't easily sorted, in my opinion. So it makes it just difficult to try to find what you're looking for. But I do like it. I've te tested this out before. In the creative menu, you don't only you aren't limited to one block, one stack of blocks at a time when setting up something like something in a chest. So before the update, it used to be that you couldn't get like multiple of one block in your hand in creative mode. Because it'd mess up some things. But 
now it's just better and easier and all that. So I like the inventory menu. I like the creative mode menus, but the crafting is just not working for me. I'm pretty sure it's almost exactly like Xbox crafting, but still, I don't have an Xbox. Although I have played the Xbox version of Minecraft. So I'm not used to it. And we have successfully built floor number four. I think we're almost getting into the clouds. And if this episode does take a little bit with the building, I will find a dog off camera. Okay, so now I can't jump from my house anymore without dying. That just shows how tall this house has gotten. I can no longer jump from the top of it without dying. Which sucks, because if I want to get quicker to the ground, I can't do that anymore. Well, I mean, I can do that. It will just cause me to die. This game is getting so laggy that even the sounds are lagging now. the smelt look at how much wood I can smelt I remember, this is the lighter. No, this is. I think you just needed a better way of telling where each and every block is. When you're trying to craft stuff. Because in my opinion, it's not as organized as... I feel like it should be. Oh, I need to craft some more. So I need to get an enchantment table as well. If I'll do all this stuff off cam. 
I'll get the enchantment table and all that. Because right now, all I'm trying to do is just craft myself some stained glass. I sound like I'm climbing so slow up a ladder when I climb up a ladder. Like, yeah, of course, it sounds like a ladder, but it sounds like a very slow ladder if I've ever heard one. You know, I quite like the design of the house. I like how there's as the same amount of floors as there is blocks in a tree, an average tree, which I just counted as seven, as six blocks. Because there's like some outliers, like there's the big trees that have like the most wood blocks of any tree, even. Not any tree, because there's the dark oak tree. Then, of course, there's some trees that aren't oak trees, like acacia trees that are just weird. Jungle trees that are, like, massive. So not every tree is about six blocks, but... On average, I estimate that every tree is six blocks. Because you'll see in the tree farm above view, most of the trees are about the same height, except for two trees are humongous. I'll show you an overlook view. And then the rest are, there's some like tiny-ish trees. And my favorite tree to build out of is dark oak wood. I like the wood. But there's no way I'm spending a time making a tree that looks like a dark oak wood tree. This game is already laggy enough. You know how much more laggy that would make this game? Probably a lot more laggy. So instead of breaking my mind, doing this, I just decide, no, we stop there. Let's place down the torches so I don't have to worry about it when it's not lit in here. Hopefully I got enough wool blocks to finish this off. Let's go to the top floor. So hopefully next episode will be the last part of the tree building. And then we're going to get to the leaf part. Which that one's going to be a pain because it's going to be made entirely... Of leave blocks. And those are already a pain to build out of because once you break them, unless you're using shears, they go away forever.
Okay, so I'm gonna find the middle of the room. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Every floor is the same, which makes it much easier when trying to plan out each room. Because I give myself enough time in between episodes to grab everything I'm going to need for the episode I'm making. And there we go. We're done with this episode. Because it's already at 26 minutes. Almost 27 minutes. So, by next time we will have the brewing room done. We will have made the final adjustments to the pet room, i.e. adding in some actual pets, and then we'll be done with the tree building. So I'm going to collect more wood, just enough so I know I won't be running out on the final floor, which should hopefully be next time. So, let's take one look at the tree so far, see how high it's gotten. That's a tall tree. So it's going to go one level higher, and then a couple layers of leaves, and then we're basically done with the tree. We can get on to other things. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.